Howdy y'all, it's James here from Deep in the Heart of Disc Golf, Team Black Zombie here bringing you something a little special today. I just got my new bag in. I know it's not Texas content per se, but it is made in the USA, USA materials, it's all handmade, it's very durable, high quality stuff here. So I wanted to give a shout out here to Pound Disc Golf and show off the new product they have that is just phenomenal. So. This just came in to give you an idea of what I was already using. I have here the Carlton bag. Uh, this is what I was originally using. I've had this about two years now. Uh, I've put hundreds of rounds on this thing and you can see that it really doesn't have much in the way of wear and tear. Even on the bottom, there's maybe just some slight staining. No, not even that. I can really wipe that off. I mean, this is, this is in great shape, honestly. I got the brown originally because I played a disc golf park, McCord Disc Golf Park, that is, uh, it's muddy frequently. It's kind of in a, in a flood plain. Uh, so I tried to go with the brown so it wouldn't show the mud as much. So I'm glad I did. It, it's done a good job of, of living up to that. But uh, this has been great. I love that you can have three discs on the side here. Uh, well, actually, I did it on each side where you can have three discs. So it's all my go-tos are right there, big pocket in the middle. Fantastic, and I love that I can fit four drinks on each side. This has been my go-to bag. I love it. It is big, so it can take a lot of discs, it can take a lot of drinks, a lot of items. Good stuff. This is my gigantic bag now. And my small bag is now the Pound Rufus here. It's brand new. It has that dragon scale kind of look to it. It's got the, the navy zippers kind of lining here and then some, uh, I don't know, this is like a white and black kind of zipper pull it looks like too. So super cool. Really kind of stands out. Let's take a look at this though. So first and foremost, what this has that uh, my Carlton does not is it does have these putter pockets up top. I can fit three putters up here. I've got my jackrabbit, my chainsaw, and my bull snake all up top here, easy access. And it does have the ability to, uh, to raise and lower. So you can have them lower in the bag if you want to for if you're carrying it. Uh, and then you can raise it up whenever you're playing around so it's a little higher and easier to grab. So pretty cool there. Love the putter pocket. Here we also have the little spot for your mini. A couple spots for pins and pencils. Very cool. Love that. Go around the sides. Uh, here I have an insulated pocket where I can fit both these drinks, which these are massive by the way. I put it up to my head. They're, they're pretty gigantic. So uh, these are from Black Zombie, the, the little thermoses they have. These hold a ton of water. My water's still cold by the end of the round every time. So really, really love these. And fits two of those very comfortably. Uh, the pocket is folded down here, so if I didn't want to put drinks here, I could actually just throw a large item in there if I wanted to, like uh, uh, your rainfly you can throw in there, you can throw uh, towels, you can throw a jacket. It's, it's a very big pocket that can hold these drinks. There's also a small pocket here I am using my phone for, so pretty cool there. Uh, here I have my towel obviously equipped to it. This one's a little dirty right now, but this is my Black Zombie waffle towel here. Very good, love those towels. Keep going, Black Zombie ground bound. Use that all the time. We have a side pocket here. This is keys and wallet for me, right here in the side. Very cool, just zips right up, just like that. And then here, it's my first time using this, but I got the Hydra pack here, uh, which connects here. A little bit of extra water right there, so I can get instant access to it. Uh, just fits right here. If you didn't want to have this hydro pack, then you instead have a deep pocket where you can put tons of stuff in there if you want to. Uh, this zipper does not come all the way back like the other side. Uh, however, I believe it had to do with the durability of the bag or stress on the bag. So it was relieving a stress point, I believe. Uh, but I'll have to go check that out again and, and make sure. Uh, here I have another, another large pocket. I have all the just random things like spray band-aids, cortisone, you know, stuff you might need on the course, uh, range finders all in there, pretty deep pocket. Also have my, uh, my retriever here, uh, it's strapped on here. It's normally for an umbrella that you would put that, uh, this strap, but instead I just, I used to put my retriever there and make sure it's secure, so super cool there. If you haven't seen this, this is pretty awesome. Uh, this is the, uh, the disc tense, the max disc tense retriever. Super cool. It's, uh, it's got a bunch of little sticky balls that are very high quality. Uh, just fits right on top of your, your existing quick stick. And uh, yeah, this grabs anything out of the water. Just stab it once, sticks to the top of it. Very cool. Love this thing. Let's keep going into the middle. 
This is really what you probably care about the most. How many discs does this hold comfortably? So I have one, two, three, four. I have five mid ranges in here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got eight drivers. So we're looking at what? 13, five and eight, 13 total in the middle. Uh, and I still have room right here to work. I can probably put another two drivers in there. So let's call it 15. Uh, and then I have the three putters on top. So about 18 discs total that it'll comfortably fit with room to, to go in and out as much as you want. And again, I have five mids, so that might be more than what you have, but uh, pretty awesome there. Let's take a look, you can see the straps. Uh, the straps are uh, removable uh, on every pound bag actually, and that's something really cool that I love about pound bags is, you know, as you're wearing these straps down eventually, three, four years down the road, you can also order a, a new set of straps that will then make the bag pretty much come back to 100% life. So super, super cool there. This has a smaller back panel than my Carlton uh, and then the other large uh, pound bag. So this will ride a little differently on your back, but I tried it out. It's, it's pretty comfortable, honestly. Here, I'll put it on real quick. I'm about six foot, 190 pounds. So you can see here, I haven't adjusted the straps at all from whenever I first took it out of the box. So I'll probably loosen it just a little bit, but it actually fits pretty snugly here all together. And it's very light. It's even lighter than my Carlton. I don't know if that's because it's more condensed. It's not as wide out on my back, but very comfortable, very nice. Not much jostling at all here. So absolutely love it. I'm excited to use it. I've not played it with, not used a round with it yet. Uh, Honestly, because I just got it in today. I'm hoping to do that tomorrow uh, and see how it feels. But the craftsmanship is just, it's always fantastic with pound. So you can just feel it all the way along this. If you're looking to get into pound, this is going to be their cheapest option. Uh, pound is, compared to the rest of the market, it is a bit more expensive, but you get exactly what you're paying for there. You're getting a handmade bag made in the USA, USA materials, and it's highly durable, extremely durable. This right here, this Carlton, again, hundreds of rounds. Hundreds of rounds. And there's nothing. There's nothing at all. It's fantastic. I, I can't believe how durable it is. So once you've used a pound bag, once you've taken the time to get to know your pound bag, oh my gosh, you're gonna use it forever. You're gonna be a lifer. They care about their customers. It's just, it's such a great company. I absolutely love pound. So new pound Rufus bag going to be using it at a tournament coming up this weekend and I'm going to be doing it in the bag actually in the next couple days uh, showing what I'm going to be using you know what I'm using the season and what I'm going to be using the rest of the season so thank you so much for watching I appreciate it please don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell it'll give you notifications of when I put out new content and you know new stuff coming up thank you so much